Hi guys, so I'm back at Tottenham's new stadium site just to see what's new and what's different. It's 10 days since I've been here, so I'm expecting some major changes, or hoping for some anyway. Um, so I'm going to walk around the stadium now just to see what's new and what's different. As you can see, a lot more glass panels have gone in. And it's looking really nice on this side now, heading towards the high road. It's a little bit better view. This is from the high road now. You can see a lot more of the glass has been installed. Just to the foreground here, this is where the Tottenham Cafe will be. They've actually put a lot of the steel barriers up now. You can see a lot more work has been done to the exterior as well, at the top of the stadium. So this is what 72 square metres of concrete gets you now. Nine floors in this stadium. This site actually created three and a half thousand jobs. As you can see, a lot more is going on here as well. It seems that in every department at the moment, you've got builders working, which is a great thing to see for all of you worried about the stadium not being done in time. Every time I've come here lately, um, there seems to be so much going on, so many more people working, and a lot more noise. Now what you can see here in front of the screen is the Tottenham shop, which will be the largest shop area in Europe. So bigger than all of the, uh, the big clubs in Europe, Real Madrid, Barcelona, etc, etc. And then just to the right, that's where the Tottenham Experience will be, where the Tottenham Museum. You can see the stadium has actually moved around quite a bit as well since I've uh, been here last. So that's Warmington House, that's the um, Grade 2 listed building which is being turned into the Tottenham Museum or I think it would be called the Tottenham Experience. Just to give you an idea of where we actually are and how things are situated, this entrance here where a lot of the uh, trucks and lorries go in, um, that was the entrance of uh, where the players went in last season at White Hart Lane and just to the right hand side you'd have had the south stand of White Hart Lane which of course is now all gone. Um, there's a little bit of work going on here. You can see the west stand on the left um, merging now with the south stand you can see quite a lot has been done in the last 10 days they're really cracking on with it Wow, 
wow 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 now look at the changes here in the last 10 days it is incredible it's probably more of a change in these 10 days than ever before now I'm going to start on the left as you just seen a minute ago I was at Warmington House this is the side of Warmington House so you can see that the, the shop store actually comes off of Warmington House. So they've really developed that area. Then you've got, just to the back of that, you've got the, the south stand merging with the west stand. That has got so much bigger. You can see here in the foreground, builders, hundreds of them. So much going on. And you can see here on the left, that now goes underground. A lot of work going on here on the right. The south stand now just seems huge. And it has actually got to go even bigger than that. So the capacity of this new stadium, 61,559. It will be the largest capacity stadium in London. The front row will actually be only five meters from the touchline. It will be very, very close, a lot closer than a lot of the other stadiums, similar size in the UK which would be really nice because the stadiums where the um, where the seats are so far away from the pitch it, it just seems that you don't get that great atmosphere but um, that's why I'm really excited about this south stand 17 and a half thousand people in this one stand um, it will be incredible it really will what the noise is, that's it. <laughs> this has got to be the best view of this great stadium at the moment. It's incredible. Every time I come here now, I'm getting more and more excited. One thing I would like to, to say at this point is uh, thank you very much uh, to a lot of people for watching the videos and commenting constantly um, on the videos that I upload. Um, in particularly Neil at the Spurs web, really appreciate your um, support and um, sharing the videos every week that I do, which I'm very grateful for that. Um, also to people that comment on the videos constantly. Um, people like Dean Stockwell, uh, David Smith, Ryan Smith, they're three names that I see all the time commenting, so thanks for your comments. Um, also just want to give a quick shout out to Danny Hill from uh, New Zealand, um, who, who said hello uh, from New Zealand, saying a lot of people there watch the videos. Um, Andy Lodge from Plymouth, uh, Melvin, who I met here a couple of weeks ago from Malta, who said him and his friends watch uh, the videos all the time. So. Very, very grateful for your support and uh, thanks for watching. And also thank you very much to um, the other fans as well, non-Spurs fans who constantly comment on these videos. Uh, you know, really looking forward to how this uh, stadium is progressing, uh, what's happening here. And it's really nice to hear from 
a lot of the uh, opponents fans as well I just can't seem to get away from this incredible view of this uh, of this great stadium um, but I'm just going to give you a few other facts um, the, the stadium will actually have an on-site bakery um, it will also have four big screens one at each corner of the stadium um, as I said before the the away fans now um, will not be in this south corner um, they will actually be in the um, northeast corner um, enough for 3,000 travel traveling fans um, the club will also have the longest general admission bar in the UK it will be over 86 meters long uh, it will all, even have self-serve beer pumps to cut queues down so I can't wait for that um, and also just to tell you as well that the seats will actually be bigger slightly bigger um, and more leg room as well so uh, for, for those of you that found it a bit cramped at White Hart Lane um, these seats will actually be better and bigger and more leg room so uh, that's quite good this area here will actually be the um, like the community square um, it will even have a hotel here as well um, the hotel will actually have 180 rooms and believe it or not the public transport I know uh, over that way will actually have the the new stadium when it's built um, you know we're not expecting that in the near future but it will actually have um, to this area 144 buses an hour will serve this area so it, it should be very very easy to get away from the stadium after the match um, and to, to even get here before the match so it's really great to see that uh, a lot of the infrastructure is uh, is there as well just the ground level now you can see this fantastic view If you saw the last video you'd have seen that there were so many deliveries turning up um, very very similar today lots of trucks coming in and out of this site so it just proves that it, you know the work is carrying on at a rapid pace it proves it because when I came here before um, well a good few weeks ago um, they used to close this gate permanently and now this gate it seems that it's just kept open permanently because of the amount of people coming in and out Hi guys, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As you can see from the stadium site, um, a lot has changed and a lot has been done in the last 10 days, which is really pleasing to see. I'm still very confident that the stadium will be done in time and open uh, next year in August um, for our first Premier League game or even uh, a friendly or two before. Um, I think that an awful lot of work will still need to be done. Um, perhaps a lot of snagging etc but I'm very confident that it will be opened in August and uh, games played here which uh, will be a great delight to a lot of our fans who hate or dislike Wembley um, anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video today please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow at the Liverpool match come on you Spurs